What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer, and we have just gotten what is quite certainly the very first teaser for upcoming Hero 30. We got this post on the Overwatch Twitter talking about what looks like some sort of Talon report. Let's just jump right on in and try reading through this because this is pretty interesting. So, 2F McManaway from T. Nguyen. Commander, new information has surfaced about Captain Curva's missing strike team. My agents have recovered Curva's personal log. The last entry is dated 27 August at 043... Ugh, terrible military time. 0430 hours... 0430 hours from T. Hotel Lanby in Porte... I'm not even going to try this stuff. Transcript below. We landed at 20 hundred hours at 26 August. Tortuga lies across the canal, a dark, rocky shape against the sky. My team bunked down in the hotel and we planned to cross to the island in the morning. Our orders to retrieve Jean-Baptiste Augustin, or failing that, to eliminate him. I still hold out hope to talking sense into him, no one leaves Talon. The organization needs him, now more than ever. All it will take, I'm sure, is the right kind of pressure to make him regret his decision. At 0200 hours, Pekana Pakanowski left the hotel to purchase supplies and failed to return. Mize and Doubleday were dispatched to locate him, and an hour later, there was a knock at my door. The hotel staff delivered a box with my name on it. Inside was a folded letter and Pakanowski, Mize, and Doubleday's emblems, which looked like they had been torn from their jackets. Come find me, Curva. I know better than to underestimate Baptiste. I helped train him myself, and he was on our... And he was one of our best. I've never known a medic to be such a good shot, and his adaptability to new situations is a rare talent. All of us have seen our fair share of conflict, but Baptiste was built to survive. I swear, he has the devil's own luck. I am preparing to rest the team. I am preparing the rest of the team to move out. Baptiste could be gone by dawn. I don't know if Pakanowski. Mize and Doubleday are still alive. All three of them were part of Baptiste's unit before his desertion, and given their personal inclinations, the odds aren't in their favor. If all goes well, everything will be settled and we'll be on our way home by tonight. Hopefully, Baptiste will be among us, playing cards and drinking rum, instead of lying in a shallow island grave. But either way, I will not fail. It will be done. Ho oh boy! That is uh, quite exciting. So we've got quite a few names dropped right here. Uh, Kirva, the person who's doing the log, <laughs> he's got a number of Talon agents working with him, and they're looking for Baptiste, who is presumably an ex-Talon agent that abandoned them, ran away, or whatever, and the focus seems to be on Baptiste. They talk about him here saying, I've never known a medic to be such a good shot, and his adaptability to new situations is a rare talent. Huh. Now, this could easily be a red herring. The focus seems to be pointing towards a medic character, which would suggest a support hero, of course. But is that really what it's focusing at? Are we supposed to just think it has something to do with the medic character or Talon in general. It seems like, oh, Talon support hero, that's the obvious thing to pick up from, from this teaser. But is it really? Remember Brigitte's teaser from exactly a year ago talking about the Operation White Dome? It had nothing to do with the actual hero we ended up getting. It was basically just like a slight buildup into the, you know, actual hero reveal. That could very easily be what they're doing here as well. This could have nothing to do, well, kind of nothing to do with the actual hero, and it could be a character that's not even named here, not even a part of Talon for all we know. So yeah, let the theories start flowing in. I don't think any of these names we see here are ones that we've seen from other places in the Overwatch universe. I don't recognize any of them. It is possible, though, that we've seen them mentioned somewhere before. This is really interesting. I'm going to be doing quite a bit of uh, 
research into this, an examination of this document we've gotten, because there could quite easily be a lot more to it than first meets the eye, and that's more than likely the case, actually. So anyways, that'll do it. This is officially the first teaser for Hero 30. It did come when most people were expecting. I was saying that it could possibly be delayed a week, given how Paris only just released two days ago. I'm a bit surprised that Blizzard is going this far forward and, you know, releasing Paris in the first teaser two days apart from each other. But hey, it means we're going to get Hero 30 sooner than is that they had delayed it, so... I'm not going to complain. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to let me know your thoughts about this mysterious letter and what it could mean and who the new hero might be by leaving your comments down below. Also, if you're interested, I have been doing some hero concepts recently. My most recent one was actually a Talon flamethrower tank. So feel free to check that out if you're interested. I'll have a card linking to it on screen. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and share it with a friend if you really liked it. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit up the bell to never miss any of my future Overwatch content. This is Master Ian Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.